Anjo here guys welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you some really interesting tips of how you can increase and boost your computer performance and make it run at super speed and you'll be surprised that some of these things they are in plain sight for you to see but you did know that these are actually slowing down your computer. So the first thing that I want to start out with is by showing you some privacy settings that you really should disable because it's going to improve your computer performance massively. So right click on the Windows icon here guys and go to your settings and on the left hand side you will see privacy and security. Now these are quite a lot of different privacy and security settings in Windows that really is not necessary and they're running in the background and they're slowing down your computer and you simply do not need them so go ahead and disable them. So we can start here and I'm going to show you for example under the Windows permissions you have advertising, local content, app launches and so forth, setting suggestion blah 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 blah. You can go ahead, hop in this, and you want to simply disable them. So you have some options there. You can go ahead and disable these because they're really not necessary. Let's go back again. You can also look under the speech. So if you look under speech, you might have this online speech recognition on. Guys, this is slowing down your computer. You want to turn this off, right? Now, if you scroll down, you have quite a lot more. So you want to make sure that you go through the list to see what is there that you really don't need and open up each of them and simply disable them. Now, if you scroll down, there's also the option that says app permissions. Oh my God, this is another bunch of different services or permissions that are actually slowing down your computer massively. So go ahead, spend the time, spend about 10 minutes, go through them guys and disable what you don't need. So for example, you have like location, you can come through this and you can just simply disable everything. If you need to use location services for some apps, then fine. Go ahead and just disable them one by one. But don't have all of these unnecessary applications on your computer running with location services if you don't need to. Go ahead, disable them all if you don't need it. Right? If you scroll on again, you also have camera. Some of you might use the camera on your computer for making calls or for whatever it is. This is a gaming computer and I don't have camera, so I'm gonna simply disable that feature. So if you're using a gaming computer laptop without a camera, guys, and you don't need it, you wanna turn this off because it doesn't matter if your computer have camera or not, it's gonna come enabled by default. You can guarantee that. Go through the list as well and see what else is there. So you also have the option to make phone calls. If you don't make phone calls, go ahead, turn this off on your computer as well. Go through the list you'll find quite a lot of them that you don't necessarily use radios oh my god i don't use it so i'm going to simply turn that off as well so you can simply go ahead go through the list as i said find whatever you don't need and simply disable all of the ones that is not necessary for you you will see that this actually boosts the performance of your computer and improve the speed. All right, so the next thing that you wanna do, guys, is just simply click the Windows key on your keyboard and you simply wanna type in Advanced System Settings. So click on the Advanced System Settings. This will open up your system properties here, as you can see here, and under Performance, click on Settings. So under the Advanced section, you want to look for Performance and click on Settings. Now, what you wanna do is you want to choose the option that says Adjust for best performance. Now, once you click on that, guys, you will realize that everything is unchecked. Now, you can go ahead and you can easily go ahead and leave this and apply all, right? So you'll apply all, you'll realize, and this is gonna drastically improve the performance of your computer by removing all of these things. However, I know some of you may be saying that my computer look different. I realize there's a massive drop in terms of quality and that's perfectly fine. You can easily go ahead and customize this and I have a bunch of options that I want to recommend to you that you can use. So go ahead and check these ones that I'm putting here on the screen. So animate control on element inside windows and you can do the animate windows when minimized, right? So there are a few more that I wanna share with you. You can enable the one that says show shadows under mouse and pointer. You can also do the one that says show shadows under windows. You can enable that. Enable the one that says show thumbnail instead of icons. This is also a good one to enable. And you can go ahead and enable all of the others below this as well. So all of these other ones, you can go ahead and you can enable them. But these ones here that you see that I leave the gap, you can simply leave them. So go ahead and click apply there. And this will go ahead and it actually will improve much more the quality of your 
computer here. So guys, I really hope that you found value here. Go ahead and do these settings. This will actually improve the performance of your computer, make your computer run much faster, much smoother. So go ahead and do these settings. If you don't mind, you can go ahead and use the empty ones by simply doing the one that I showed you previously. Otherwise, you can make these settings to your liking and what you're satisfied with, you can go ahead and use. Then click on OK and that's it. Go ahead and restart your computer and enjoy the best performance of your Windows PC. Here you have it guys. I really hope you found value within this video and if you do, don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.